Hey, welcome everybody. I'm Nate here with Hustle Buddies, where we share tools, tips, and advice for Amazon sellers. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Keepa in a much more advanced way that most sellers are not utilizing. This is good for if you have or want to sell replenishable products, or if you have or want to start doing Amazon to Amazon flips, these A to A flips. All right, let's check it out. Hustle, 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 hustle. All right, so. Keepa is probably the most widely used tool in all of the Amazon arbitrage space. If you don't have it yet, I'll put a link down below, but it's by far at the top of pretty much everyone's list as far as like must have tools. There's a lot of nice to have tools. Keepa is one of those like need to haves in, in my opinion and in many other <laughs> opinions, okay? So at a basic level where most of us are used to using it, you can see things like product history, the price history, sales rank history, all of that on a little bit more of an advanced level, but this is easy. It's easy advanced, which is my favorite. On a little bit more of an advanced level, you can actually start tracking products and you can start tracking your replenishable products or tracking things that are potential A to A flips. I'm gonna show you how. All right, so a couple ways to do this. Um, I'll show you some examples and I'll tell you how I personally use it and sort of what I recommend. But again, there's so many things that this tool can do. Just, just because I'm showing you my ways doesn't mean that this is all of the ways that you can use uh, these tracking tools, okay? So let's say we are looking for some Nike socks, all right? And maybe this is a replen of yours. Maybe you're always going to like the Nike outlet or whatever uh, and, and you sell the heck out of this and it's been going really, really well. And let's say that you're selling it like last year from like November all the way through December. And you're like, oh yeah, I'm getting like $33. I'm getting $40, 35, whatever. And then all of a sudden come February, it tanks down to $21. And you're like, ah, oh, my replen tanked and I can't sell this anymore. Okay. What should you do when your replen tanks? Should you go online and go to Facebook and complain about price tankers and how reprices are ruining blah, 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 and stupid new sellers? No because you can't control that. What you can control is setting up alerts and setting up a tracking system for this. So, um, and we see here, the price has come mostly back up. It's back up to about 32 uh, for the most part. So what can you do to track this? So let's just pretend that this is your replen. As soon as it becomes unprofitable for you to sell, set up a price alert here on Keepa. So I wanna know if the price is, let's just say, um, in order to hit my sort of desired profit goals, like I don't wanna sell this if I'm selling it for less than $26, all right? So I'm gonna say $26 or more. That's gonna be the important part. So as soon as the buy box becomes $26 or more, I'm gonna get notified by Keepa straight to my email. I get emails from Keepa every single day. Um, our, our inbox is full of these, both for replens and also for the A to A flips, okay? And I'll show you that in a second as well. So as soon as this product starts selling for more than $26 again, we're gonna get an alert. Now, as of today, it's kind of, switching between about 26 and 32. So I, I will get an alert immediately if I set this up. Um, but this would be something to do when the price has tanked down to 25, 24, 22, et cetera, because the prices will always fluctuate. Things will always come back. So that's the first thing that you can do. All right. So set your price here, set a memo, say like Nike outlet replen. Um, and then maybe do like 26 is like your, I don't know, 30% ROI or whatever you want to do. Um, tags, it could be A to A, it could be replen, whatever you want to do. Okay. So use these things, do whatever makes sense in your brain. This is sort of what makes sense in my brain, as far as just giving myself a, a rough note, or maybe I could put like the buy cost. Um, I'll put like 999, um, into 26. All right. So that's what I'm buying it for. And then I'm selling it for 26. That's sort of my desired price points. Okay. So you can do that. Uh, you can spend. I personally skip all the rest of it. Track for however long you want. Do you want to track this for one year, two years, three years, two weeks, whatever. All right, we'll just do it for 10 years because it doesn't really matter. Boom, done, okay? So that's sort of the uh, the first way. And you can actually also do that here um, directly on an Amazon page. So let's say you're doing some OA sourcing. And you're like, oh man, this is a great A to A flip, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> okay? Um, you can scroll down here to the keep a chart that's right on your page. Go to track a product and do the exact same thing thing. Okay. Let's see here. Historically, this is pretty much always the same price. Every once in a while, it's $20 instead of 16. So I could put, all right, as soon as this is above like 1999 or more, let me know. And then I can buy it. Um, and, uh, and go from there. 
Okay, so boom, 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 start tracking. Okay, so now we've we've set up two trackers. Now I'll show you two of the emails that I got as sort of like real world examples, okay? So this first one is for a potential replen. I, I don't sell this a lot. When we do, we make a lot of money. Um, but this is this is an interesting one to watch. So let's uh, let's pull it up here on Amazon. Now we can buy this from the website and they always run sales and things like that. Um, I believe when I ran my numbers, it was like $260 or $270 after the coupons. Um, I'll do 260. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head, but it's it's roughly around here. Okay, so $260. If I sell it today, eh, we're, we're not really making any money, okay? Um, I, I don't want to spend $260 in order to make $13. That's just <laughs> way too much money for way too low of a profit. However, um, and you can see actually, this is the line. So because we have been tracking this, you can see my desired price here. I can see that occasionally, especially last year, like May, June, July, here in August again, um, for about half of the time between May and August, the price and the buy box were up at $549.99. Okay, you see that pink line up there, $549.99? So if this is something where, and I see here Amazon has just jumped back up to $549.99, now the buy box is still down low, the buy box is still down where this FBM seller is, but what we often saw, especially back here, like as soon as Amazon would jump up, the buy box would come shortly afterwards. So here, like Amazon is at, $54.99, but the buy box is at uh, $529.99. Okay, so really, really close. We see this frequently when uh, when Amazon's price goes up. So what I expect here is over the next couple days, I expect this buy box to go back up, unless it's one of these like weird little blips where it's just like one day or two days or something like that. So I'm gonna keep my eye on this, and that's why I said alerts. I'm gonna keep my eye on it because if it does pop back up here, I know that I can buy this for about, I think it was like 260, okay? And if our sell price is 549, that is a lot of profit. Making $160 on one single unit and I can get a lot of these, okay? Um, this is a lot of money and they sell quickly, estimated sales 280, so this is like multiple a day, almost 10 units per day uh, is sort of estimating. Um, and I think that's relatively accurate being ranked at 10,000. Um, so yeah, this is a really, really, really solid replen when it works. It rarely works, but that's why I have this, this alert set, okay? So that is sort of setting an alert for a replen. Now I also wanna show you some alerts for Amazon to Amazon flipping. Amazon to Amazon flipping is, is it's probably the biggest thing that I've been doing this past year. Um, the biggest direction that I have moved our business into. I love it. Um, I'm gonna be talking more about it here on our channel. It's so powerful, um, so easy, and usually it's very, very safe. Um, like you don't have to match up UPCs or anything like that. You don't have to worry about like getting the wrong product because you're buying it straight from the same listing that you're selling it on. So you know you're selling the exact same unit, okay? So here is an example. Now you can set Keepa alerts. Um, so you can go, I'm not gonna do all of this right now, but you can go into like the Keepa product finder and you can put in parameters like, um, I want say Amazon to be priced from like 30 to 40, but I want the buy box in the past 90 days to be like 50 to 90, okay? So this is gonna show me these sort of mismatches where when Amazon is in stock, or we could even lower this, let's say, Let's say currently Amazon is like 20 to 20 to 30. Let's see if there's anything there. All right, yeah, there's still 8,000 products where right now Amazon is at this price. There we go, here are 38 products. Let me just show you this real fast. Okay, so right now Amazon is selling this for $20 and usually the buy box is $50, okay? These are all great Amazon to Amazon flips. Now, I didn't put in any sort of parameters as far as like sales rank, so we see some of these have super high sales rings, probably don't really sell, but there's a lot of stuff in here that absolutely uh, will sell and would be a great Amazon to Amazon flip, okay? So you can set alerts for these types of products. You can also put in um, parameters like, I want Amazon to be um, out of stock. Let me do a control F, yeah. So 90 day out of stock percentage. I want Amazon to be out of stock, let's say 
50%, okay? These are just arbitrary numbers. Don't take this as law. I'm just trying to show you an example. Um, but these are things where Amazon is out of stock at least 50% of the time or more, uh, and it fits all of our other parameters. So you can do things like that here and start setting up Keepa alerts so that you get alerts when things like this Merrill shoe pops up. So you can see here just, so this is in my email. Good news, this thing is on sale again, all right? A to A test from, from our camp. So this is actually from one of our uh, sourcing camps that we've done. Okay, tags, $100 is, is what, uh, what I wanna see it for, okay? So I can see that usually this is being sold for $100. But as of when I got this email, which is like 12 hours ago, I don't know if it'll still be in stock, but when I got this email, it was $47. So what you can do here is you can buy it. Yeah, and unfortunately, other people have these same alerts and they bought it first, so it's no longer there. But if we could have bought this right when it happened, if I could have somehow had a time machine and done this video the instant that this alert came out and I bought this for, it's, I don't know, $49.99 or whatever it was, all right? We're making 50% profit, $25, okay? And this is a really fast flip, um, yeah, I mean, pretty much instantly. So yeah, you can see here, boop, Amazon comes into stock right there, $47.97. And this happens frequently, okay? Look at, this is just the past three months, let's look at the past year. Like there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Like I can't even count the number of times that it has gone down, okay? So it will frequently jump between the two prices. When it's 47, you buy. When it jumps back up to 99, you sell, all right? Very simple, very easy, completely within the TOS to do this. There are some rules, like you can't use prime shipping if you're doing A to A flips. But again, that's another video for another time. It has nothing to do with this Keepa stuff. But this is how to use Keepa. These are some of the more advanced ways to use it. Again, very simple. Like you don't have to be a rocket scientist. I'm not some crazy smart guy. If I can do it, I know you can do it because you're probably smarter than me. Okay. So use these more advanced techniques to sort of get a leg up, to make your sourcing easier, to make it faster. A lot of sourcing, I, we just made a post about it in Hustle Buddies today. A lot of sourcing really comes down to how fast can you find stuff? How fast can you um, determine if something is good or bad. And if you could do that ahead of time, like these, these are replens or these are A to A flips that I've, I've already determined they're good when I can buy it for this cheaper price or when I can sell it for this higher price. Okay. Since we've already done the work, we might as well set up an alert so that we get an email about it every single time that that happens. All right. Let me know in the comment section, if you are using these Keepa alerts, if you knew that this existed, you can actually even see in the Keepa alerts, how many other people are also tracking that same exact product, which is really interesting when you start looking at like A to A flips and replens as well. Like how much competition, how many other people are, are looking at this as well? So that's some other uh, interesting tidbits of data that you can glean from that. But let me know in the comment section if you're using this or if there's like a different use for this tracking product thing um, that's outside of the scope of like finding tanked replens or finding these A to A flips. If you use it for something else that I didn't talk about or I don't know about, let me know in the comment section. I love learning new things. I don't know everything. Okay. So we hope to see you in the next one, guys. Hustle on. Hustle, 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 hustle.